Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shout out to my subscriber, Jawan Buchanan, for letting me know, hey, Avery, Flunderies and Adventure is now in Master Shits. And uh, also on TCG Player, I happen to find this one out myself, that our homie Kelly Locke on TCG Player Infinite wrote an article titled, Half a Year Later, What Has Master Duel Done for Online Yu-Gi-Oh? It hasn't done a fucking thing because it's still dog shit. So strap yourself on in, get yourself a beer or a snack or a drink, and let's dive Dive on into some baby back bullshit with master shits. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. I've been thinking about how to talk about this video all day. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Destroy the ever living crap out of that subscribe button so we can get to 800 and eventually 1,000 subs. We're currently seven away from 800 subscribers. Are you getting hard? Because I sure am. My nipples are hard too because now we're about to shit on Master Shit some more and you know what we always say on the channel. I refuse to call it Master Duel until it's a good ass game so we call it Master Shits and guess what? It never fucking will be. So let's go ahead and look at what Kelly Locke, a writer over here on TCG Player, has to say about Master Shits. I'm not going to go line by line because it is a fairly long article. I just want to bust his chops a little bit. All in good fun. Don't go and attack the guy. He's a cool dude. He writes some very good articles on TCG Player Infinite. I do recommend that you go and check out this article for yourself. Um, I just kind of want to take out a few bits from this article here, uh, you know, so that we can shit on it. So it says here, last week, Master Duel hit 40 million downloads, just shy of its sixth month on the market. So this week, we're taking a look at all the ways Master Duel has changed Yu-Gi-Oh! from online discourse to the ways people interact with the physical game. Guess what? They're playing the physical game more than Master Shits because even with 40 million downloads, not a single fucking soul's playing it. And if you are, you're logging in daily to get your fucking gems. That is is what Master Shits has come into. Now, within the first few hours of Master Duel's launch, there were dozens of threads, posts, and videos on social media discussing the new game. Reddit's r slash games thread was a hotbed of discussion and celebration over Master Duel's status as a continuously updated piece for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! online until you realize it's best fucking one and it hasn't changed in fucking six months. <laughs> Uh, he goes on to say, players and fans have absolutely been asking for a game like Master Duel for years. Not like this. And fans who have largely tuned out of the physical game are still very interested in digital alternatives. Alternatives that are actually fucking good. Digital card games have become immensely popular over the years, including Duel Links. So it's no surprise that Master Duel's release was received well. The release was received well. How is it received now, Kelly? Hmm. It's received like a bucket of shit. That's what it's all about. Uh, let's see here. Even as gamers praised Konami for finally launching an official dueling simulator, there were plenty of voices criticizing the game Master Duel was emulating. Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! And that is the biggest issue, because guess what? All these people coming back into Yu-Gi-Oh! who see how Yu-Gi-Oh! has evolved, that you're no longer in, I'm going to summon a monster and set a back row and end my turn. No, no, no. Now it's, oh, I'm playing Flunderies. I'm going to normal summon 50,000 times a turn, and if it's a mirror match, I'm going to rage quick, because that shit sucks. And literally, at one of the YCSs before the National Championship, there were five judges watching a Flunderies mirror match. I think it was at YCS Charlotte. That should tell you how bad a mirror match is for the game. We're going to go ahead and keep on scrolling through here. Basically, he just talks about how players were upset that modern Yu-Gi-Oh had evolved or devolved into combo-heavy metagames with extremely long lines of play and complicated card effects. No shit. Like, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is now. Every time someone comments on like one of my Master Duel videos and says, bro, he started summoning a bunch of monsters and I lost by turn three, I'm just like, Welcome to modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, go look at my other fucking videos, pimp. Like, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is now. I'm sorry to tell you, and I hate that you're getting dunked on because you don't know what the game is like now, but that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is now. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that's that's just how it is. Um, let's see. He goes on to say here, modern Yu-Gi-Oh isn't for everyone. No shit. And some returning fans of first-time players who jumped into Master Duel immediately dislike the fast pace and complexity of the game. That's what I've been talking about since day fucking one, folks. There's nothing wrong with that. Of course, Yu-Gi-Oh's had an accessibility issue for years now. Master Duel's position as the most accessible dueling simulator hasn't changed the core gameplay. There were a lot of hot takes being put out there from planes that Yu-Gi-Oh was unplayable in its modern form. Yeah, that's definitely a hot take. <clears throat> to warnings that Master Duel just isn't fun because every deck has 10-minute turns and FTKs. Why do you think that is? Because it's best of fucking one. If you could side deck half of the FTKs, in fact, I would argue all of them, would be gone. Because, yeah, if you're going to cheese somebody the first game, what are you going to do after I side deck? Like, you going to try the FTK again? Like, nah, bro, I'm, I'm going to side deck whatever I need to just break your FTK. 
Obviously, those ex those statements were exaggerations, but a lot of players who were initially excited wound up abandoning Master Duel in a matter of weeks, if not days. I contribute that to my video because that video blew up. Like, what is it now? Like over 7,000 views? Let's see. While Master Duel was leaving online card game enthusiasts, bad first impression, blah, 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 blah. Master Duel grabbed a lot of attention from bigger creators and it blew up in smaller gaming communities too. That was only because of the fact, honestly, that people were just trying to milk Master Duel for all it's worth. Hell, even DZ still fucking does this. Like, he had some video, I didn't watch it because I'm not going to give him the ad revenue, where it was Machina Ruin Force in the thumbnail and he's like, oh, this FTK breaks Yu-Gi-Oh. And then you click on the video and you realize it's fucking Master Shits and you're like... Yeah, this machine of Ruin Force with like outstanding dog Marin and shit. Yeah, it's an FTK, but it's inconsistent as fuck. You know why it works in Master Duel? Because it's best of one. So you pop off that FTK like 10 times in a row, get yourself on up to Black One or Silver, I don't know, Dildo like ranking, then yeah, congratulations. I could get to feel good for five minutes. He goes on to talk about like the remote player base uh, where he says that the group of players who benefit most from dueling simulators are those who live in remote areas or otherwise can't regularly play Yu-Gi-Oh! in person. This is true. Dueling simulators aren't new, of course, and we've had lots of unofficial solutions for over a decade now that are strictly better than a fucking official one. That said, none of them have been official and they haven't come close to matching the size of Master Shit's player base. Master Shit's won't fully replace unofficial simulators for a certain group of players, but it's the best mass market option yet. No, it fucking isn't. Are you out of your mind? I'm sorry. Like, a timeout called by the offense. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you think Master Shits is a mass market option for Yu-Gi-Oh, it's not. It's not the real game. How can you say, oh, it's a it's a great market option because, you know, it's, it's for the masses and uh, we're going to sit on down here. We're going to play best of fucking one. I'm going to lose to an FTK and go fuck myself. No. Like, how can you say that that's a best market option, pimp? Like, even for the masses. For the masses, I can tell you what works. Duelingbook.com. Enter. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> like... Even if you can't download EDO Pro, if you do not understand how to go into Discord, how to make an account on Discord and download EDO Pro onto your PC, I'm pretty sure you can go www.duelingbook.com, enter. Like, am I missing something? Like, <laughs> it's strictly better. Like, don't play me like that. Uh, he goes on to say here, we're coming out of a two-year period where remote dueling was the only option. Now having remote dueling in addition to in-person dueling feels like a mandatory part of the Yu-Gi-Oh! experience. I hope not because remote dueling is nothing but cheaters. He also says it's hard to overstate just how useful Master Duel is for giving players an on-ramp for Yu-Gi-Oh! Going to your first locals, if you even know they exist, can be intimidating. Unofficial simulators aren't available on every platform, don't have tutorials, and sometimes require a bit of additional work to get up and running. Yeah, because logging into Discord and making an account and downloading EDO Pro, that's extra work compared to downloading it on my PlayStation or my PC or my Xbox or my Game Boy, like whatever. Really, like, again, dueling book, www. Boom, like you're done. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Master Duel to YCS pipeline is something I'm sure we're going to be hearing about years from now when more players start crediting Master Duel as their first step toward winning in person tournaments. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's just no, that's never going to happen. Uh, maybe when they add in a match mode, maybe, maybe. But best of one is someone going to come on out here and win a YCS. <laughs> no, this is the best part. This is the best part. D try to prepare your holes. Prepare your balls for this statement. I'm not kidding. <clears throat> Master Duel is worth investing in. The fuck? <laughs> what? D did he say that? Did he, he said it. Master Duel's worth investing in. <laughs> what? I'm going to buy something that's more worthless than an NFT? <laughs> no. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not going to play in a format with Max C and invest in buying Max C. <laughs> no. I already had to buy the shit once. I'm not going to buy it again. He says other Yu-Gi-Oh! games have struggled to keep players engaged year over year. No, they haven't. Their limited card pools are really updated over time since it's easier to just release a new game every few years. Uh, no, it's not. Because you know what they did in the fucking DS games? They gave you the card pool for that season and then they would give you the ban list over the Wi-Fi connection. I'm, I'm assuming that that was the same thing for the Tag Force games. I never played those. But the DS games were strictly better because they also couldn't nickel and dime and be like, Log in every day to get your Chaos Emerald Gems. Woo!
And so he goes on to say, your master duel is built as a live service platform for Yu-Gi-Oh, which means Co-Money will be continuously updating the game's card pool and event offerings to keep players coming back month after month. Uh, no, I don't want to come back to this thing day after day or hour after hour. What makes you think I'm going to be coming back month after month? Hell no. Not with all the FTKs, the shitty card pool, adding in cards slower than molasses and slower than I can take a dump. Like, <laughs> no, absolutely not. The festivals are garbage. The ban list sucks. The card pool is nothing interesting. Like, what? The reason why I could see someone still playing this game is because they like the endless loop of playing game after game and like it being more casual. He says, Master Duel's bet on long-term engagement is impacting online Yu-Gi-Oh! discussion in a positive way. Oh, it's been positive. It's, it's been positive for my fucking channel. I appreciate that. There's significantly more content, articles, deck lists, event guides being produced specifically for Master Shits compared to any other Yu-Gi-Oh! simulator or video game. So what do you call the walkthroughs on IGN for the DS games that were like all text documents? Like that, we're just not going to count that because it's not as relevant today. Okay, I got you, Pim. Uh, the game's bigger audience is definitely playing a role, but I think the idea that Master Duel isn't going to be abandoned within a year is the more important factor at play. The problem is it needs to be abandoned because it's a bucket of liquid ass with big old chunks inside. Uh, Master Duel's worth grinding out, no it's fucking not, and building up card and crafting resource pools because there's a level of certainty that it'll still be playable years from now. No, it fucking won't. Because again, Konami could say, this card's banned, this card's limited, this card's at three, we're gonna ban all this shit. There's no guarantee. Why do you think it's more useless than an NFT? Something that is absolutely worthless in NFT, because guess what? You can, you can go right-click, save as, copy the JPEG, there you go. Or just take a screenshot out of it. There's your NFT, pimp. <laughs> this is hilarious. And it, it just keeps going, and guess what? We're going to be covering it all. So if you're liking it so far, be sure to smash that like button. Um, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Crafting resource pools. We, we already read that. It's a strategy that worked for Duel Links, and it's no surprise it's still working here. Duel Links got abandoned the moment the Master Duel came out. Excuse me. <clears throat> Rewind that. The moment the Master Shits came out. So what are we talking about here? The ranking system in Master Duel. Oh, Jesus Christ. I love this part. In Master Shits is a major part of what keeps Duelists talking about the game. It keeps them talking about it because it's dog shit. There's nothing good about the rating system. A lot of the conversation with Master Shits revolves around the kinds of decks that can make certain ranking tiers, and deck builders are constantly challenging themselves with rogue deck choices. You smoking that good, good? Because I, I, I want some of that. That's some good ass shit. Rogue deck choices? No, they ain't. If you're playing a rogue deck, you're in the lower bottom half of the ranking system. Once you get in the higher echelons, you know what you're going to be playing against? Flunderies, because I've heard that that shit's tier zero. Something with the Brave Engine, because it's broken AF. Or you're going to be playing against an FTK with like Eater of Millions or Banquet of Millions, whatever the hell. Like, <laughs> it's, what? Like, are, are we in the Twilight Zone? Like, What's going on? Kelly, what you doing, bro? What you... No, absolutely not. Hell to the no. Um, he says here, it's, it's a great proving ground with a little bit of prestige on the line. <laughs> the prestige to wave around your cock and say, I spent all this money on these cards that are more useless than NFTs. Yeah, okay. And more importantly, more importantly, it's much more accessible for the average duelist than a regional. I would rather go to a regional. Yes, it's more accessible, but you're not playing the real fucking game. Like, let's, let's just be honest here. Local tournaments and groups to play with can be tough enough to find. No, it's not. Sure, but regionals might be completely out of the question, depending on where you live and what your schedule looks like. Fair enough. But I would rather go to local tournaments or play with my friends on Discord in Dueling Book by myself with an imaginary friend than play Master Shit so that's not even the real game. Add in a match mode, you fix a lot of the problems, but they won't because, you know, they're just morons. Why Master Duel could change, the, or what Master Duel could change in the future? Excuse me. Uh, it could shut the fuck down. That's what it needs to do. Master Duel has generated a lot of discussion for what it's done so far, but there's still plenty of untapped potential Konami can leverage. Uh, yeah, they could shut down the servers. They could add in a match mode, a TCG and an OCG mode. They can make the card pool literally available from how all the other simulators are and how the real game is, which is from 2002 with starter deck Yugi Kaiba and Legend of Blue Eyes all the way to 2022 with Splite and soon to be released Power of the Elements. They don't do that. In the future, we could see Master Shits replacing remote duel events, for God if only, giving online players the chance to participate in a massive YCS-style tournament. Ranked duels in Master Duel are fine, and he has that like in italics, and they're not fine, they're buckets of shit. But imagine the intensity of Master Duel games if a YCS prize car is online. Bruh. I'd, no. No. 
From Konami's perspective, it's probably much cheaper to run a Master Duel event compared to a Remote Duel tournament, so I expect to see them at least try once or twice. How about zero? That said, I think remote duel events are worth keeping around. No, they're not, because I've already said there's a bunch of fucking cheers. And guess what? Konami already did this years ago, back in like 2009, 2010, 2011, where when we had the DS games, and I think even the Tag Force games, they did this for a while too, they would have it like YCSs and stuff, DS tournaments where you brought your DS, you logged on into the Wi-Fi system, and you played on the World Championship DS game that was released that year, and you could win prizes. Robbie Cole has an old interview from like over 10 years ago where he interviewed the guy that won the DS tournament at whatever YCS was at. It was really cool, but then they stopped making the World Championship games, and now it's like, well, now we're stuck with this shit. And uh, he goes on to say here, online Yu-Gi-Oh! discussions are totally different since Master Shits. They're different because they're shitting on the game. Master Duel's deck building festivals, which are buckets of ass too, are a great way for Konami to test the waters on alternate formats. No, it's not. And it's only a matter of time until they find one that sticks. They never will because they all suck. This game's a fantastic testing ground for alternative formats, rule sets, and card pools. It's also a potential home for popular alternative formats like GOAT format or Edison format. They should have added that in from day one and they still haven't. Nostalgia formats work especially well in Master Shits where players can see the complete card pool at a glance. There's always been a disconnect between building a physical GOAT format deck and constantly double checking a list of legal cards as you short as you sort through your collection but that's not a bad thing that disconnect doesn't exist in master duel where the game's digital inventory ensures you're only ever looking at legal cards you know where you can do that too dueling book it's called you go into the settings and adjust it for goat format only and it shows you everything that's legal why do i need master shits for that the digital format of Master Shits also creates opportunities for events that are extremely challenging <laughs> or even impossible to do in a physical setting. Oh, like playing an FTK that sucks if you go into a match mode? Progression Series, a series of matches where each duel includes cards from the next chronological course set release are hugely popular among content creators and viewers. They're popular because you can form the rules however you want in something like Dueling Book. You go into an unrated mode and play with whatever ban list you want. Like, you don't have to worry about setting shit up in a shitty UI like Master Shits. I think Konami will stay away from including cards in Master Shits that don't exist in the physical game, and maybe there's still room for Yu-Gi-Oh! Take on Magic's Commander format. Ha! 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 Ah, Kelly, you're, you're so positive. You're so positive. He ends the article by saying, Six months after its release, Master Duel's already changed the online Yu-Gi-Oh! landscape. Yeah, because we all dunking on it. We all shitting on it. Uh, Master Shits shifted conversations in Yu-Gi-Oh! communities, and more important, it reintroduced thousands of fans to the game for like a week, and then they said, Oh, this sucks. This isn't what I remember. And then they left. It's the most successful way to play modern Yu-Gi-Oh! and casual fans took notice when it launched earlier this year. Again, they left after like a week. <clears throat> of course, it's not just new or returning players that are taking advantage of Master Shits. Duelists who can't play in person or simply prefer not to are using Master Shits as their Yu-Gi-Oh! outlet, which I feel sorry for you people if you are because there are so many better alternatives. Online Yu-Gi-Oh! discussions are totally different since Master Shits, again, because we're shitting on it. It's been a huge boost for Yu-Gi-Oh! on social media. Yeah, it's been helping out my channel, as well as video and streaming sites like YouTube and Twitch. Even here on TCG Player, we've been talking about Master Shits almost every week since it launched, and we're not planning on slowing down anytime soon. Well, fuck me then, because I hate those articles and I never read them. <laughs> so, look, I'm, I'm poking fun. Excuse me, I'm poking fun at Kelly here just to have some fun. But <clears throat> I'm sorry, but Kelly, no. Master Shits is liquid dog water served on a hot summer day. And believe me, in Florida, it gets hot as hell. There's nothing good about Master Duel. If you're investing in it, you're wasting your money. It's never going to change in the future because this is obviously how Konami wants to run it. Six months in and they haven't changed a damn thing, you know damn well it's not going to change because they're just going to keep on adding cards. Be like, why is there so many FTKs? Oh, there's, the, everything's broken. Let's limit this to one and we'll put this to two. And then it doesn't change anything. And then people are still pissed off. And then guess what? They come on into my channel. They click that subscribe button and they say, oh, Oh, hey, this is a thing called EDO Pro. I'm going to download that. Oh, hey, there's a thing called Dueling Nexus and Dueling Book. I'm going to go on those websites. Oh, hey, uh, th this cool guy, Avril R32, has really cool content. I'm going to go ahead and hit the bell and the like button because I'd rather watch his content than be playing on Master Shits. Uh, Jesus Christ. Like, Konami dropped the fucking football on like the negative one yard line in American NFL football when they released this trash. They need to go back to having like yearly world championship games like you need to realize how much content was in these world championship games you could play with no ban list you had turbo duels which are way better than speed duels and i'm surprised even after all these years konami has implemented a turbo duel 
format or any turbo duel rules like they came out with speed duel and they just dropped the ball like where's turbo duels where's speed spell speed world where's speed spell monster reborn you got to remove 12 speed counters to get the effect of monster reborn that would be really cool to see in the real game but no we get uh, duel links where you summon three fucking monsters and people are still trying to tell me that's a good game and it's been dropped like a hot doo-doo stain on a hot summer day it's it's bad it's it's not for me i'm sorry it is liquid ass so, guys, let me know what you think. Go and check out the article for yourself. Again, it's on TCG Player Infinite. Uh, again, don't attack Kelly. This is all for fun. Um, but I did want to talk about this article here. And who knows? Maybe he'll see this video and leave a comment and say, bro, you're stupid. Like, you know, who, who knows? Maybe he'll post an article and mention me and say, there's this guy, Avril R32, that doesn't know what he's talking about. So let's talk about why Master is good. And then I'll make a response. I'll say, you're wrong, pimp. <laughs> guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you all so much for the support. And I will see you in the next video.